The Canadian Space Agency put the Canada arm on the space shuttle. They put the weather station on the Mars lander and they launched astronaut Mark Arnault into space and then the House of Commons. And today, their most auspicious mission yet. They're going to put me on a plane. They're going to fly around in a circle and then pull into a nosedive and plunge 10,000 feet in 23 seconds. No, this has nothing to do with the stock market. This week, the Mercer Report experiences zero gravity. We are in the hangar, and this is the supervisor of flying operations here at the National Research Council. Hello, Tim Leslie. Nice to you? meet you. Nice to meet you. You are going to be my pilot. That's correct. I am going to do a zero gravity flight. Correct. Now, tell me quickly how we're going to float. You start diving down toward the ground. Mm -hmm. Once you get 350 knots, you do a 2G pull, uh, poke up about uh, 55, 60 degrees, and then you push over. There's a period of time where the thrust of the aircraft or the uh, acceleration mm -hmm. is the same as the force of gravity. And when those two are equal and they cancel each other out, that's when you achieve zero gravity. I just want to float in space. That's what I want to do. I want to float. Well, float. And this is Louise Bonchamp from the Canadian Space Program. Hello, Louise. How are you? Nice meeting you. Nice to see fine. you, Louise. Now, you're the person who gives us the astronauts. I am. What does it take to be an astronaut, Well, Louise? it takes it takes a suit. Yes. <laughs> you got to be able to wear the suit. Do you have to be a fighter pilot? No, not necessarily. You need to have an education. Uh -oh. Bachelor's degree plus experience, oh, master's no. degree. Yes, you really? do. Really? All those things? Yeah. Real ones? Real ones. Okay, just checking. And we're on the tarmac and we're almost ready to go. And now I'm joined by these two gentlemen from York University. What's your name, sir? Lawrence Harris. Hello, Lawrence, and you are? Richard Dummett. So there's going to be actual science going on yep. while I'm up there. Yeah, we're going to do some real experiments. These are first some of the pilot studies that we're going to do before the uh, International Space Station project. Do you uh, think that's a good idea to be doing science with me up there? Yep, that'd be great. Yes? Yeah, absolutely. Are we in zero gravity yet? Nearly. No, nothing yet. Just keep doing it. No, I don't think it works. You gotta bring your own food on these planes. Are you okay? Everything's fine. I'm here is to learn about your experiment. So what is it exactly you're doing? Well, what we're trying to do is to see how uh, the direction you think up might be changes when you take gravity away. Well, I thought I was upside down the entire time. That's one of the illusions that happens in space. And it's one of the things that we're looking at with this very experiment. I see. I'm working too. I work, this is my office. This does everything that does. Give me my 
Okay, now we're out of our seats. This is very exciting. So what we're going to do now is some free floating. Yes. Thank you very much. Science is fun! It's never this much fun! <laughs>